This is the Corsair Elite LCD CPU liquid cooler. It features an LCD screen built into the CPU block that brings customization to that next level, as well as new ML RGB Elite fans with a Commander Core to control all your lighting and fan speeds. In this video, we'll show you how to install it and set it up. In the box, you'll get several pieces of mounting hardware in the Elite LCD cooler. Before you begin the installation, please refer to the manual to make sure you have all the necessary screws, washers, standoffs, backplate, and brackets required for your AMD or Intel system. First thing you'll need to do is prepare your motherboard socket. In this video, we'll be using an AMD AM4 system as an example where the default motherboard backplate will be used. Unlike traditional AM4 bracket installation that uses the two plastic retention clips, we'll be using the new AM4 installation bracket that will be fastened by four corner screws into the backplate instead. If you have an Intel system, use the appropriate Intel backplate that comes in the box, with the proper standoffs for LGA 1700, 1200, 1150 series, or 2066. Next, we'll need to prepare the pump head. The Elite LCD cooler will come with an Intel retention bracket pre-installed. So, if you have an Intel system, you don't need to change this part. For our AMD AM4 socket, we need to detach the two halves of the pre-installed Intel bracket like so, and attach the AM4 bracket in the reverse fashion. Keep in mind that when doing this part, you must remove the plastic thermal paste cover and be careful not to touch the pre-applied thermal paste. Here's a side note. Since we're only showing the AM4 installation process in this video, you can also refer to the manual which will provide a visual guide for both Intel and AMD system installations of the Elite LCD cooler. The installation process will be similar for other CPU sockets. The next step is to determine where to mount your radiator in your PC case and the fan's orientation. In our Corsair 4000D airflow example here, we'll mount the 240mm radiator on the top panel with the ML120 RGB Elite fans to set to exhaust so hot air can be pushed through the radiator and out the top of the case. Something to keep in mind throughout the following steps. Make sure your CPU block is clear of anything that may touch or ruin the pre-applied thermal paste since you won't have the plastic cover on it. Using the longer 30mm screws, we're going to secure the fans onto the radiator first. Now we can install the pump head onto the CPU. Unscrew and remove the plastic retention clips on the front side of the motherboard socket since we won't be using this. Use the provided AM4 socket standoffs and screw the side with the larger threads into the backplate. In this step, you may need to use one hand to hold the motherboard backplate when securing it with the pump head. Fasten the provided four thumb screws in a star pattern a few turns at a time so the pump head is installed as evenly as possible. The Elite LCD cooler installation is almost done. We now have to connect the pump tack cable to the CPU fan header on the motherboard. Then we'll use the shorter 8mm screws to secure the radiator onto the case panel. Install the Commander Core in the back of our system. Make sure to connect the 24-pin pump cable from the pump head to the Commander Core and connect your fan's PWM and RGB LED cables. For data, connect the USB 2.0 cables from both the pump head and the Commander Core to the USB Y splitter cable. Connect the other end of the USB Y splitter cable to an available USB 2.0 header on your motherboard. And finally, connect SATA power so that everything powers up with your system. Once you have everything physically installed, turn on your PC and dive into the IQ software for some customization setups. You can create different profiles that allow you to control and set the PWM fan speeds, RGB lighting as well as the lighting effects. You can customize the screen of your Elite LCD cooler. In screen setup, you can pick from a number of preset screens and tweak the monitoring info and colors. You can also load a custom image or animated GIF. And that's it for the Elite LCD cooler. Thanks for watching.